All right, I believe you guys already have your uh, file called Guest Cottage. If not, I'm just gonna start a brand new one though. We did all of our settings and saved them on uh, Thursday, but Friday we started drawing actually in the, in the drawing. So I'm gonna hit new drawing. Um, if you don't have it, call it Guest Cottage. If you do, just open yours up. Uh, I'm gonna call mine House for right now, since I already have Guest Cottage. And make sure that your units are Imperial. All right, make sure they're Imperial and hit open. Always, even if you've already have the drawing, Z enter, A enter, make sure you can zoom all and do that line test. If your lines are coming up with decimal points, like my 5.3964 that I can see for my length, um, we need to change another setting. You should have O snap turned on to endpoint, midpoint, intersection and extension, as well as center, O track turned on and polar turned on to 90 degrees. If you have those decimals, you gotta come up top, hit settings, and on the units tab, you're gonna change it from decimal to architectural. You'll be able to see that we then have feet and inches for our precision. Again, fake draw a line, see if you get fractional inches now, which you should be, and you're okay. For our layers, you should have quite a few. We're gonna hit the new layer, I'm going to call this one with caps lock on, call it walls. We're going to leave that thing just as is. Create another new layer called doors. For the doors layer, I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to make those yellow. Add a new layer in called windows. I'm going to make that layer there red. I'm going to create another new layer called casework, C-A-S-E. W O R K. We're going to make case work. If I can go click on that one, cyan. And last but not least, I'm going to add in a brand new layer. We're going to call this one closet rod. And I'm going to make closet rod magenta. Also, select closet rod so it's highlighted. We want to change the line type to uh, hidden. All right. Before we get drawing, I wanna make sure that my walls layer is the current layer. I wanna to go to my properties palette after I made walls current by clicking on it. And I want to choose my line type from continuous to by layer. That'll do any object that I draw in the current layer, uh, the line type. And so if I draw my closet right, it'll be hidden. And if I draw in my walls, it'll be continuous. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit on my drawing. I'm gonna draw my first wall going to the right make sure you're on that blue or sorry green snap 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 and i want to go out 18 feet so i need to type in 18 apostrophe to go over 18 feet i'm gonna hit enter escape and zoom out so i can see that total line i'm now going to draw a line from the left endpoint up 15 feet so i'm going to type in 15 apostrophe and hit enter I gotta zoom out even more. I'll come over to the right. Again, always on the green polar snaps. 18 feet to the right and just back down to this end point down below. Each of our walls are four inches thick. So I'm gonna offset all four of these outside walls toward the inside by four inches. O oh, enter. Click on my wall, four enter. Click on my other wall, four enter. Click on my other wall, four enter. And, oops, four enter. We're gonna trim up our openings a little bit later. Right now I'm just gonna move all of this by highlighting and hitting M enter. I'm gonna move it up to the right just a little bit. For my walls, I'm gonna have a horizontal wall and a vertical wall. The vertical wall starts seven feet, four inches in from the outside right. So O enter this wall over seven apostrophe four enter and escape. It comes back to the right by four inches. So O enter, click on the line to the right four enter and escape. My horizontal wall that cuts through starts five feet four inches down from this top line 
So I'm going to O enter, grab the top line, down five apostrophe four enter. And then again, it's four inches thick. This time we're going to go another four inches, so four inches down again. All right, for me to trim up my walls, I'm going to do TR enter. I'm going to trim up these. Don't forget these two little pieces that stick in. I'm going to come through and clean up all of these outside corners by click holding and dragging lines through the outside corners. On my T-junctions, I'm gonna go through those and open them up. Same thing here and here. So on all of these T's and my outside corners. If you accidentally trim the wrong wall, don't forget in the trim command, you can hit U enter to just undo those last trim segments. We want it to look like this. It's a great time to hit save. We're now doing the wall openings for our doors. These are still in the wall layer though. So we're gonna offset, O enter, this outside line inward by two feet eight or two apostrophe eight. I'm now gonna split that three foot distance and offset them each 1.5 feet to the left and right. And we'll trim, trim off these lines, the opening, I'll hit escape and delete those extra lines up top. Up here we had a four inch offset from my interior wall to start my newest door, so four inches. Again, whenever you type in inches, you don't need to put in the quotes, you can just type in four. We'll extend this line down, offset it over by two feet, and we will trim. Over here, we'll do our center line and go out halfway each way. So O enter this line in. It was three feet, four inches for the center. Extend it down, two foot opening. So O enter, one foot each way. And we'll trim. Once you have your three openings and all of your walls, hit save and we'll call it a day.